Howdy friends, I got five scriptures for you today from five different places in the New Testament. You know, we've got Easter right around the corner. And out of all of the holidays, Easter is my favorite because Easter is when my dear precious Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, gave his life for my nasty, wretched sins. God hates sin, friends, with a passion. You've seen all throughout the Bible the wrath he has poured out on people and places because of sin. He really, truly hates sin. It is his desire that we all be holy as he is holy. Thinking about the suffering that our precious Jesus went through is what these scriptures are about, except for the last one. He did it because of his love for us. You know, he could have called an army of angels to save him, but he didn't, because his work on earth would not have been finished had he done that. And we would have no remission for our sins if he did that. <clears throat> because of his love, he went through with all of it. And since I am going to be reading five verses from five different parts of the Bible, I may have to lay the camera down for a minute as I find the next one. I've got them all bookmarked, but trying to go from one to the next without losing my bookmarks and holding the camera may not be easy to do so y'all forgive me if I have to lay the camera down and use both hands we're going to start off and see here I am I already started off in the wrong place hang on just a second I'm going to start off in Luke chapter, <coughs> chapter 22 and excuse my voice, the pollen is bad, my allergies are going bonkers, I'm sneezing, I'm coughing, and I'm my voice doesn't sound right, I'm clearing my throat a lot, but let me, let me try here. Okay, Matthew 22, 42, this is Jesus speaking, it says, Father, if thou will, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. This was Jesus uh, after the Last Supper as he was headed to the cross. He was burdened because of it. He knew he had to do it, but that was a part of his life on earth he was not looking forward to and when you know all that happened to him, I can clearly understand. He, he prayed and he said, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And God's will was done, which also was Jesus' will. He just didn't want to go through everything he had to go through to get there which is completely understandable, but he did it. All right, hang on while I go to the next one. And the next one's just a few pages over in Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Jesus, still speaking, said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus at the cross was praying for those that were crucifying him 
asking God to forgive them. I don't know if they were forgiven or not, but that was Jesus' plea to God that they be forgiven. All right, now hang up, hang on, and I, hang on, I lost my notes. Okay, from there I go to Matthew, I can't read the note, somewhere in Matthew, hang on. Matthew 27, verse 46. Matthew 27, 46. Jesus cried with a loud voice, and this was him hanging on the cross after the crucifixion was done, before he died. Jesus hates, I mean, God hates sin. As Jesus was hanging on the cross, he took on the sin of the world. He had to. He had to die for the sin of the world. To die for the sin of the world, he had to take on the sin of the world. God hates sin. Matthew 27, 46 says, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani which is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? God has promised to never leave us nor forsake us. But because Jesus took on the sin of the world, God had to forsake his only begotten son momentarily so that task could be finished. And I don't know, y'all, I thank God I don't have to go to the cross, but I think being forsaken by God would have been much harder for me to take than all the whippings and lashings and stabbings and the nails driven through his feet and his hands. Being forsaken by God had to have hurt and Jesus cried out my God my God why hast thou forsaken me he knew why it was just you know in the moment he realized he had been forsaken and I think that hurt more than all he endured while on the cross Okay, now I think we got one more left. No, we got... Yeah, we got one more left. Hang on. John, chapter, <clears throat> chapter 19, verse 30. Jesus, still hanging on the cross, said, it is finished. It is finished finished. Friends, what Jesus came to earth for was finished on Calvary. He paid the price for all of our sins. We do not have to worry about that. We could not do anything to pay the price for our sins. Jesus did it all while he was hanging on the cross. The word or the phrase, it is finished in Greek, let me grab my note again, is kedilastai, which means it's an accounting term, and it means it is paid in full. The price for our sins was paid in full on Calvary by Jesus Christ. Friends, I pray that you know him. You need to know him. If you don't, 
The Bible says all you have to do is believe that Jesus is the Christ, the awaited Messiah, and that he died for your sins. If you believe that, you will be saved. That takes faith, and God gives you that faith. I love you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you so that you can be saved.